Hi everyone. Welcome to the latest news. I'm Emmanuel Johnson reporting. Trump and his cronies were planning to steal the election before it happened. The Department of Justice January 6 probe is investigating Trump's action on January 6. What was Trump doing for 187 minutes during the Capitol attack? FBI search Mar-a-Lago for the second time. Did former Vice President Dick Cheney slam Donald Trump? Americans wants Donald Trump indicted by the DOJ. Can Trump be charged with a crime that could lead to his convictions? Why the Republicans are fond of spreading lies. Legal analysis of a potential criminal charges Trump could be slapped with. Now for the details please stay tuned. According to a recently leaked audio tape, reported by Mother Jones, Steve Bannon, had meeting with some of his Chinese friends thanking them for disseminating fake information from Hunter Biden's laptop to the media. Bannon used that information to spread misinformation about Hunter Biden. This is important because we, a week before the 2020 election was held, Steve Bannon was meeting these people to talk about the strategy to hurt President Joe Biden by using what they found on Hunter Biden's laptop. Additionally, Bannon said on that audio that, he was going to convince Donald Trump to come out and say that the whole election was fraudulent and that is what Trump did. That would buy them time using Hunter Biden misinformation to try to prove fraud. What is interesting here, is that Steve Bannon was talking to his Chinese friends how they were going to steal the 2020 election. This is a conspiracy to defraud the United States that is a damning evidence. According to the Washington Post, the DOJ prosecutors were asking detailed questions about the meeting Donald Trump led in December 2020 at the White House and January 2021 regarding his pressure campaign on Mike Pence to overturn the election, and what instructions Trump gave his cronies lawyers and advisors about the fake elector's scheme. In April, the Department of Justice investigators received phone records of key officials and aides in the Trump administration, including former Chief of Staff, Mark Meadows. There were also undisclosed emails that shed light on Donald Trump fake electors plan. Meanwhile, it would appear that Trump could now be a subject or target into the DOJ investigation and the fake elector scheme puts Donald Trump in a severe legal peril. The Department of Justice has gotten a new warrant to search John Eastman phone Trump's pro-lawyer that wrote the two-page memo stating that Mike Pence had the power to overturn the 2020 election. The 187 minutes began at 1.10 p.m. Eastern Time on January 6, 2021, as Trump was wrapping up his speech at the Ellipse. This is when he told his supporters to march to the Capitol, so they could pressure lawmakers to overturn the election while they met for a joint session of Congress to formally certify President Joe Biden's victory. So, we're going to walk down Pennsylvania Avenue, and we're going to the Capitol, Trump said. We're going to try and give our Republicans, the weak ones, because the strong ones don't need any of our help, we're going to try and give them the kind of pride and boldness that they need to take back our country. So, let's walk down Pennsylvania Avenue. After addressing his supporters, Donald Trump went back to the White House. Trump then watched TV news coverage on Fox News about the chaos unfolding at the Capitol for 187 minutes. Exactly 187 minutes later, at 4.17 p.m. Eastern Time, Trump posted a video on Twitter. In the clip, he said for the first time that his supporters should leave the Capitol. He also heaped praise on the rioters and repeated his debunked lies about the election, which had spurred the riot in the first place. I know your pain. I know you're hurt, Trump said at the time. We had an election that was stolen from us. It was a landslide election, and everyone knows it, especially the other side, but you have to go home now. We have to have peace. We have to have law and order. We have to respect our great people in law and order. We don't want anybody hurt. It's a very tough period of time. 187 minutes provides a clear example of Trump's supreme dereliction of duty. Trump finally said Mike Pence let me down. A federal grand jury investigating efforts to undo the results of the 2020 presidential election has subpoenaed the White House counsel under then-President Donald Trump and his top deputy, according to a person familiar with the matter. The subpoenas to Pat Cipollone and Patrick Philbin suggest an intensifying Justice Department investigation into the events surrounding the deadly January 6 insurrection at the U.S. Capitol, when Trump loyalists stormed the building in hopes of halting the certification of election results. They also suggest that prosecutors regard close advisors to Trump as potentially vital witnesses. 
Cipollone was the top White House lawyer in the final days of the Trump administration and was part of the legal team that defended the Republican president in his first House impeachment trial in 2020. But Cipollone vigorously resisted attempts by Trump and his allies to undo the results of the presidential election Trump lost to Democrat Joe Biden, saying he did not agree that there was sufficient fraud to have affected the outcome of the race. Federal prosecutors have been especially focused on a scheme by Trump allies to elevate fake electors in key battleground states won by Biden as a way to subvert the vote, issuing subpoenas in recent weeks to multiple state Republican Party chairmen. Other subpoena recipients have included Mark Short, who was the chief of staff to former Vice President Mike Pence and who has testified before the grand jury. On Monday, Donald Trump said the FBI had searched his Palm Beach Mar-a-Lago home and they broke open his safe and account signaling a dramatic escalation in the various investigations into final stages of his presidency. We all know that in March the FBI raided Mar-a-Lago to collect the 15 boxes of presidential documents Donald Trump stole and took with him at Mar-a-Lago during his tenure of office now. Here is what we know so far. A federal judge issued a search warrant to search Trump's home. Well, in order for a judge to order the FBI to do that, he or she must conclude that, there was evidence of crime located on the property of Donald Trump. It's most likely that the FBI collected evidence and what federal crimes that evidence may be part of part of the missing documents they are looking for and Trump wasn't home during the raid. But we believe the FBI sees the evidence they were looking for. Former Vice President Dick Cheney calls former President Donald Trump a coward, and argues that Representative Liz Cheney of Wyoming is fearless, as he stars in the latest ad released by his daughter's re-election campaign. He is a coward. A real man wouldn't lie to his supporters. He lost his election and he lost big. I know it, he knows it and deep down I think most Republicans know it, the former vice president claims, as he points to Trump's repeated and proven claims that his 2020 election loss to President Biden was due to massive voter fraud. In our nation's 246-year history, there has never been an individual who is a greater threat to our republic than Donald Trump. He tried to steal the last election using lies and violence to keep himself in power after the voters had rejected him. According to the latest poll, 53% of American voters actually believe Donald Trump committed crimes and should be indicted by the Department of Justice for his role on January 6, 2021 and every other thing surrounding January 6. Folks a majority of Americans say Trump should be indicted. This poll shows how quickly public opinion has shifted since the Select Committee started airing its public hearings about what happened on that horrific day. Two months ago, two-thirds of the country thought Donald Trump bear no responsibility on what happened on the day of the riot and he shouldn't be charged with a crime, but a month later, the American people say Donald Trump should be charged for the January 6 attack on the Capitol. This is a clear indication that these public hearings are very effective and it has shifted public opinion here in the United States about Trump's action. Could Donald Trump be charged with a crime by the DOJ? The answer is yes. According to legal experts, Trump could be charged for dereliction of duty by the Department of Justice. This could be the strongest case against Trump which could lead to potential successful criminal case against Donald Trump. Here is why. Donald Trump had a legal duty to call off the rioters but he chose not to act but to watch the whole thing for 187 minutes on TV. Therefore, he is responsible for the harm that took place on January 6. Dereliction of duty means, deliberate or accidental failure to do what you should do as part of your job to protect the nation from violence insurrectionists. Trump knew they were armed, the mob were seeking to kill and assault people in his name. We know that the Republican always lied to its supporters and the nation but there is a reason for that. Here is why. 1. Disinformation 2. Lack of education 3. Lack of diverse view 4. Close-mindedness and 5. Politics been personal. They voted against curtailing high gas price, baby formula, living minimum wage, abortion, education and anything that will help to make America more competitive or help people. They control the 10 states with the highest pregnancy rate and they stand for nothing all they want is power and wealth. Folks, when you stand for nothing you can fall for anything voters beware of GOP lies and stop voting for them because they won't help no one or the country. Here are some potential criminal charges Trump could expect coming.
witness tampering, wire fraud, inciting a rebellion, treason, obstructing an official proceeding, conspiracy to defraud the United States, seditious conspiracy, manslaughter and dereliction of duty. We will break down all these crimes in the next video. If you like this video please considered subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching.